go back to the beginning of fall camp until now, where's the most growth that, for you? Uh, I think just being confident in, in my own skin, really. Just, you know, coming out of spring, I had a lot of high expectations of myself, and, and you know, the defense changes, I, myself changes, and I think just, just being ready and being comfortable out there. You know, at, at first I had a little rough start, um, just trying to, like, get back in my groove just throwing-wise. Um, but I think just seeing the defense more and just not really relying on, on what the coaches think on every player, what the players think, and just kind of just playing my game has been really helpful. People talk about chemistry with quarterbacks and wide receivers a lot. How big of a deal is that for you, and you feel like the chemistry's come a long way with this group for you? Yeah, I think, I think that's huge. I mean, obviously, you have a guy like Schooler who leaves. I think, I think this unit has gotten a lot closer. Um, the coaches have done a great job of, of just kind of organizing meetings to together where we just uh, we watch film together all the time. Um, Justin and I are always talking to them. So I think building that relationship is going to be key for our success this year. Scrimmage tomorrow. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish there? Um, completions, man. I just just getting the ball to our wideouts, making letting them make plays, just being efficient in everything we do. Uh, we're probably going to call a lot of different concepts and plays just to, to get things run um, and then just kind of get things going into, into the season. Tyler, I, I'm sorry if you already answered this, but how are you a different quarterback today than you were one year ago today? Oh, man, it's, it's, I feel completely different. I mean, I was talking with coaches that, uh, before earlier this week, just body-wise, I feel like the ball's coming out a lot, a lot quicker off my fingers. Um, just, just the, it all, honestly, like you talk about the game slowing down, it's definitely just I can really like, manipulate and just watch yeah. the defense more. Um, I mean, that just, that's how, a, a tribute to Justin, the coaches, just, just spending a lot of hours of watching film. So um, I'm, I'm really excited for this year. I'm, I'm ready for whatever can happen. And you know, obviously, it's, it's been it's been great so far. You've got a lot of talented uh, young players to to throw to this year. Who do you seem to have a chemistry with so far in this fall camp? Yeah, uh, obviously Micah Pittman. Um, he's he's a, an electric player. He's getting probably reps with um, some of the ones now. He's rotating in, but I know him and I have like the highest completion percentage on the team, just one v one or one on one QB and wide receiver. So I mean, he's like a guy who's always open. I mean, everywhere I'm on the field, I'm alert where he's at. Uh, guys like Brian Addison stepped up huge. Um, I think I think especially with you know wide receivers getting hurt like school or you, people have to step up and those guys have really done the job. You started a lot of games in your high school career, but you know going into this year, Justin Herbert's the number one guy here. Um, how is it you know when you're so used to starting uh, to sit back and, and be behind a stud like that? Yeah, I mean uh, it's definitely something you get you got to get used to. I mean last year was a well, it was a great transition for me. That I mean I, at this point I'm, I'm I'm mentally prepared for that. I mean I know I mean you can't. You can't think of yourself as a backup. You got to treat it as as you are the starter because you never know. I mean, you're one play away. Um, obviously, we've seen that in the past for Oregon fans here, um, and I think I, I'm ready for that this year. You have a very talented offensive line in front of you this year. Talk about what you've seen from them in fall camp protecting you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's there's really no drop off. I mean, obviously, you have great seniors um, who run with the ones, and then my guys. I mean, they just they're just so studious and and they work so hard. I mean, you you see them. We do a players uh, players of practice and stuff like that. Duck of the day and. I mean, every person on our line has pretty much got it, and um, it's so fun to watch them play. I mean, especially because we got great competition. Kayvon and Adrian Jackson, you go, again, go against them every day. It's pretty good work. Last question I had for your Tyler, is just when you're not being a football player, not being a student, what do you do with your free time? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I'm, a pretty good, I'm a pretty good outdoorsman. Um, I've, I wasn't really familiar with Eugene, so I think a lot of my teammates um, and my friends have just kind of shown me around, going to Wildwood Falls, stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, I'm big into other sports. Baseball, we kind of, we kind of play uh, softball and baseball with some of the other athletes. But I think just the whole community, it's really tight-knit. That's what I really enjoy about it here is that, I mean, anybody you can just kind of get along with and go outside.